Hey guys, welcome to Yoga is Yummy. Today we're going to do a class that's been filled with yin poses and those are the really yummiest of all. Those are the ones that you hold for a really long time and I'll explain it as we go. So I want you to go ahead and come onto your knees and you will need a block or something a little bit like a block to sit on top of. So we're going to come into a variation of hero's pose. So go ahead and have a seat and bring your knees together. And we're going to sit right here and just take a couple breaths. And just try to let go of any tension or stress that you may be holding on to. And if you happen to be a human, I'm guessing you have some stress. So just breathe in really full and deeply and exhale completely. Good. You can bring your hands to your heart center, soften the face and the throat, and open your eyes. Yin is really fun, so keep an open mind and um, try to be as patient as possible with yourself, okay? I want you to remove the block if it's appropriate for you. This is very much a style of yoga where you must listen to your body, so keep that in mind. And the knees are again toward each other, and the feet are right beside the hips with the bottoms of the feet facing up. And whoa! And what you're going to learn about yin is these poses are meant to be held typically for like five minutes and that's a really long time and we absolutely don't have time for that in this sequence today since I'm going to do five of those poses so we'll hold each one for like a minute or so and um, some of these poses you may be really excited that that's all that I'm going to have you hold them for and what happens in these poses is you want to not grip your muscles because in yin yoga our goal here is to stretch the connective tissue. And what's a connective tissue? I didn't know either. But it's like the ligaments and the tendons and what's called fascia. And I'll explain it a little bit more in just a second. So let's take a couple more breaths here. It helps to smile a little bit too. Good. I think that's pretty good. Go ahead and Release that, oh. <laughs> and then sit on your feet. That should feel great, great stretch for the legs. All right, now we're gonna come into a half saddle pose, which is actually hero's pose with one leg straight. So the yin poses are called something a little bit different, and um, but they're very familiar, you recognize what they look like. They just kind of change the name a little bit. So the right leg is still in that little hero pose with the top of the foot facing up and the left leg is straight. Now you can do a little tiny forward fold, and I'm pretty warm, I just got done teaching an hour of yoga, so you may be cold coming in from a run or something, so you need to just be um, as patient as possible. And from here, we're going to come back onto our elbows. Ooh, and that should go pretty good, and you'll know you've gone too far if this knee starts to pop up, okay? And this may not even be um, appropriate, you may need to just come here, so just listen to your body, guys, it's no big deal, it doesn't make you any more of a greater or more cool of a yogi, okay? And if some of you are able to, you can come all the way back and relax the shoulders. You'll notice this is a little bit of a back bend. And if you want to even come further, reach all the way back. So you've got this amazing stretch. You're going to feel it across the lower belly, down the right side, into even the psoas muscle. It's pretty amazing. So breathing here a couple more times. Again, yin is about relaxing, so trying to let go of the muscles so that the connective tissue can stretch, because they can't unless you relax those muscles. Good. And then go ahead. Coming out of poses is not graceful in yin poses, but we're not about being graceful, are we? We're just about feeling good. So come on up, and then we're going to switch sides. So straighten the right leg. Shake that out. And the left leg bends. So again... With the knees sort of close together, top of the foot or bottom of the foot facing up. You can do a little baby hammy stretch and then go ahead and come back to your point of comfortable. So everybody's got a different point of comfortable. So come down. Again, your head may come first, then the shoulders. And typically, like I said, in yin, they're held much longer, five minutes. And what your pose feels like at the beginning will be different than what it feels like at 30 seconds, at 90 seconds, at, at three minutes. So you've got to just take time as your best friend in yoga because really 
um, from when I was a runner to when now I'm doing all yoga, I, there's a huge difference. Because I used to be impatient. I'd be thinking, now what do I do? And now it's like, okay, this is cool. So just be patient. <laughs> Go ahead and reach back. Amazing. Love these poses. And hopefully that's about a minute or so. And go ahead and come up. And once you learn these poses, you absolutely can do these for much longer at home, okay? So stretch the legs, give them a little shaky, shaky, shake. Move it into a pose called seal pose. So move your legs off to the side. Come on, kicking my block around. And come on to your belly. Ooh, it feels good. So come down. Now, seal pose looks like cobra, but it's different because it's a yin pose. I need you absolutely to be aware of your lower back here, guys, because we don't want to smoosh it, okay? All right, widen your feet a little bit, press your palms down, and then roll up. So here you are in Cobra, and then you actually get to straighten your arms. Cool, huh? Kind of move your arms off to the side, maybe angle your hands. And what I always tell my students not to do in Cobra, I get to tell you to do in Seal Pose. You can shrug your shoulders. Yeah. And then here's where you just start to soften. Feel this natural arch of the lower spine. Notice my head is hanging. Maybe draw your shoulders onto your back. And you just get to stay here. Wow. Just keep breathing. Again, don't be in a hurry. And to come out of this one is my favorite part. You're going to bend the elbows, move the heart forward, and slowly lower down. Ooh, good. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, and you're going to come all the way back and come into a nice child's pose, balancing that big back bend with a forward bend. Good. And then go ahead and walk up. So even child's pose could become a yin pose. It's a very soft, deep, relaxing pose. Last one. Is that four? Maybe it's five. I think we only have time for four. Okay. Full saddle pose. So basically we're going to come back into our hero's pose where we started. And guess what we're going to do? We're going to come back. And this is where I get to explain a little bit further about the connective tissue. So again, this may be your pose. And think about opening the heart. And this is a great one to do after seal because your low back has been warmed up and has that natural curve. So we're going to come all the way back. And there's so many of these poses, but hopefully I'm giving you some favorites here. And notice there's still an arch in my back. That's normal. But the longer you're here, the more your apple back will relax. And this pose took me a long time to like because this is not my thing. I was not open to do this pose. And I actually like it now, but, so it's pretty cool. So go ahead and reach back if you're one of those people that wants to go that direction. So just enjoy. And think of those connected tissues like warm caramel. And like if you've ever made taffy apples, you'll know what I'm talking about. That warm caramel, you want to just kind of take it out of the pan, stretch it really slow to see just how mobile and stretchy it is. And if you go really slow, it won't break. But if that caramel would start to cool and we'd never do that, we'd never take time to open it up, it would snap in half. So think about like an Achilles tendon rupture or someone that strains their back or blows out a knee in football. And that's what we don't want to do. That's why these poses are huge for an athlete, okay? So if you consider yourself an athlete, and you're an athlete, I think you're an athlete, these are for you. So I hope you like them. So let's take a couple more breaths here. Mm enjoying this. Try to relax again the big muscles. Even relax through that lower spine. Let the breath do its thing. And we're going to come up. So when you're ready, go ahead and come all the way up. And then simply have a seat. Hope you enjoyed practicing yin yoga. Now go get a caramel apple <laughs> and have a great day. Namaste.